Hi, this is Cheryl with the Cut at Home Design Team. Today I'm here with some fun Stampin' die sets by our friends at Lawn Fawn. I love their holiday designs and I'm going to show you a couple of those today. First I have the Gingerbread Men. Um, I love the Oh Snap sentiment and the little guy with his leg broken. Um, this is one of their smaller Stampin' die sets. They're purchased separately. Um, but it's very affordable. It's got one little design and a couple of sentiments that go with it, but lots and lots of choices on how to use it on cards, on layouts, on tags, and that sort of thing. I also use the scallop rectangle stackables on this card. You can see the scallop edge here with the polka dot. It's the next to the largest scallop that I used, and it pretty much covers an A2 card. A very, very fun set. Um, now when I'm working these, you could of course stamp them on white paper and do all the coloring from start to finish, but I'm a little lazier. I stamp them on colored paper and I add some accents with markers. So I'm going to set this over top so we can compare them. So I added little cheekbones here with a pink marker. I used a white gel pen to draw in the frosting. I used a red glaze pen to add the buttons. Very, very simple and easy, very quick. Um, I stamp them first and color them first, and then I die cut them. Much, much easier than trying to color a very tiny die cut image. My second card also uses one of the small Stampin' die sets. This is the alpaca. Um, very, very cute. So we've got the little alpaca and the dye that goes with it. Maybe it's cold outside is the sentiment, along with alpaca, my scarf. There's always a couple of extra little elements, the hearts and the snowflakes, and that sort of thing. Let it snow comes from this dye. It's actually a little longer than your A2 card, so you've got to shorten it up a little bit on one end or the other, or even both. And then finally, the background comes from this snowy backdrop, also by Lawn Fawn fun little backdrop to use and it cuts beautifully even though there's just all those tiny little pieces it needs to cut it does a great job and you end up with this fun fun backdrop i fussy cut the little mountain hills here and added a few things but again super super easy on my alpaca sheet you can see the secret to why i stamped so many in the first place because i'm not quite sure how i'm going to color it so i test things and always make sure I have one good image left to work with. Um, I always do make a note too of the colors that I used in case I want to go back and do this again. I know what I used, but super, super easy card to make again. Uh, my little mice here, a Thanksgiving card, give thanks. Another small stamp and die set from Lawn Fawn. Just the little mice and their Swiss cheese and a little give thanks sentiment. Um, I also set them on a bed of these small stitched leaves. It's just too fun and way too easy as cards go. Again, I stamped my little mice on a colored cardstock and added just a few coloring accents. So I have them done very quickly and very easily. My final little project for you today is a couple of gift tags. These also feature Lawn Fawn stamp and die sets. Um, the little elements that you see, the dreidels and the candy canes, come from this holiday party animal set. This is a companion to the party animal set. Another little forest critter that goes along with the others, a raccoon this time. But he comes with lots of little fun holiday pieces and parts that you can use to enhance your cards. So you've got everything from Halloween and Thanksgiving um, Hanukkah, Christmas, could be birthdays, again Christmas, a coffee mug, um, the wishbone for Thanksgiving, the shamrock for um, St. Patrick's Day, and so on. There's a die set that goes with it, so you can cut those little teeny tiny pieces. All of the little hats and things either fit on their heads or in their hands. Not just this guy, but the rest of the guys in the holiday party animal set. The For You script is also another one of the Lawn Fawn dies. And then finally, I use the stitch circle tags, the largest of those, to cut my tag itself. So very, very easy. I stamped the elements on, 
colored them in with a little marker, and that was that. So try out those Lawn Fawn stamps and dies. They really are a lot of fun, and you can produce some very quick holiday cards. Thanks for watching. Bye.